Hello, this is Dr. Tushar Shah. Today is the 15th of July, the seventh day of our program on outpatient management of COVID-19. Today we talk about HRCT of the lungs in COVID-19. Let us first talk about the sensitivity of HRCT. HRCT is highly sensitive fourth day onwards. After 72 hours of onset of symptom, HRCT picks up almost all cases of COVID-19, more than 90% sensitivity. And if you combine clinical grounds with HRCT, your sensitivity can reach 100%. This was the reason why initially HRCT was used more when the swab was not easily available. Now that the swab is more easily available in urban cities, HRCT uh, is not done as frequently to initially diagnose COVID-19. However, remember 30% of swabs can be negative depending on the duration of the illness when you do the swab. Therefore, in all patients where you suspect COVID clinically and the swab is negative, please do an HRCT because HRCT will pick up what the swab has missed. The second reason for doing HRCT besides of course the negative swab is pre-hospitalization HRCT in a hypoxic patient. If you have a hypoxic patient, happy hypoxia or breathless patient and you are going to admit the patient to the hospital, on the way to the hospital, if possibly the patient not very bad, kindly stop for an HRCT. Do an HRCT because the HRCT tells you severity that the swab even with the CT value cannot tell you. So the, the HRCT will become a good baseline study for the involvement of lungs and then send the patient to the hospital. So these are two reasons why you will do an HRCT, right? One, swab negative, clinically suspected COVID. Second, hypoxic patient pre-hospitalization. Let us now talk about the specificity, the, the specificity of HRCT in COVID. Now this is an area which has come under great criticism that HRCT is not specific, a lot of viral pneumonias can cause, LVF can cause, uh, other pulmonary edemas can cause, crown glass opacities and interstitial lung diseases can cause, hypersensitivity pneumonitis can cause. So lack of specificity is an area of criticism. However, I, I must tell you that if there is clinical grounds to suspect COVID, if the month is a COVID month and the year is a COVID year, and the CT scan shows GGO, you don't need any better specificity. You can confidently diagnose COVID-19. So specificity in this today's pandemic is not a big problem according to me. The third area that I want to discuss with you is the what happens in the future with the CT scans. When we see an X-ray of a TB patient and we see right apical infiltrates, we start always thinking of are these old cocks or are this is this a new fresh cox? X-ray may or may not tell us clearly. Similar problems will happen with the HRCT. Today's asymptomatic but lung affected patient will come to you tomorrow with enteric fever. You will do an HRCT because you low grade fever you want to investigate for COVID and you will find some lesions in the lungs, then there might be confusion whether that is an old uh, pathology or a new pathology. In this, the radiologist is usually confident, usually confident in differentiating between old COVID and new COVID. Old COVID has scars like interstitial fibrosis, old COVID has subpleural atelectasis. So these are features that they can easily differentiate. So, but that is one area if a radiologist is not good, we may have a problem with. Another thing that I want to talk about is uh, the area of cost and contraindications. The cost is about 5,000, 6,000 rupees for an HRCT as against 2,800 rupees currently for the RT-PCR. So the cost is a little bit more. The contraindications, as you know, the principal contraindication giving radiation is pregnancy and to a woman who might be pregnant. Also, we don't like to give, do HRCT of children, but anyway, in COVID-19, we rarely need to do HRCT for young people. Now let's talk about the radiation exposure. 
many people are scared we are not willing to give radiation exposure remember if you send them to a good center which has a multi detector ct scan then the radiation exposure in this low dose radiation hrct can be as little as 7 to 10 x ray chests meaning equal to 7 to 10 x ray chests which is not very high so i don't think radiation exposure should make us go away from an hrct scan that should not be a consideration when it is really needed so that's that's about hrct i'm sending you more details about about the appearance of the scans uh, and please go through them and uh, feel free to ask questions thank you